This video is part two on the series of tearing down a 5.0 liter Volvo Penta V8 engine. I'm about to take off this fuel reservoir and in order to do that I disconnected the supply line, supply line from the TBI inlet right here. I disconnected the return line from the, from the return because they stay. I'm going to try to leave them on this reservoir. They come down through there. I don't see anything else in the way. There was a vacuum line. I've yet to figure out what this is for, but the vacuum line goes here, through there, and attaches right here below the throttle body on this plate. Once I get the throttle body into this intake, I'll figure out what that's for. But uh, right now, I'm a little bit uh, not sure what that vacuum line is for. Um, uh, actually, it may be maybe some kind of overflow for this tank because there's no return usually when you have an auxiliary tank you have a supply in which is right here that was uh that was this line here attached here that's the supply from the low pressure pump from the front but there was no return back to your main tank so that may be what this is for this may be some kind of overflow if the pressure in here gets too high an overflow it dumps it into the engine as far as i know i'm not sure how that what that does but or what that does but anyway i'll figure it out so um, uh, before I got, in order to make this easier, I removed the transmission cooler. It came off in one, took it off, took the hose off the front of the water pump, or off the water pump on the front, and took the hose out with the cooler. The cooler was attached right here. I wanted it out of the way so it wasn't so bulky. Um, I didn't notice this before, but this rubber plug is a drain for this cooler unit, cooler unit for the fuel. Um, so that allows you to drain it for freeze protection. Um, again, uh, about to take this off by taking off this bolt and that bolt. This this hose here, which was going to the uh, exhaust manifold on the uh, what I call the driver's side of the engine on the car in the United States, and that's already free. So once I loosen the bolts, this should come off. Um, I just found one other thing: the harness comes right through here. This wire right here. And this feeds your high pressure fuel pump electric, electrical connection. Uh, I believe it's controlled by the, eco, the uh, MEFI computer because it turns on the fuel pump only when it detects RPM or signal from the distributor that the engine is rotating. So I'll go ahead, I will be disconnecting that. And uh, I believe that's all the connections. I let's see this line here was the cooling line to the front that was connected up there on the thermostat housing. So it's coming out. So once again, this will be coming up. This is a power steering hose. It's just tie wire, uh, wire tied here for holding it up out of the way. I'll have to redo that when I take this reservoir out. So this completes part two. And once I get this off, I'll show you a video of part three of what to do next.